Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Smith. Thank you very much for checking out this video on the hidden secret number 24 of why you can still have back pain. In this video, the hidden secret number 24 is due to a condition called spinal stenosis. The word stenosis means a narrowing. So what's going on is your spine is composed of a block of vertebra, a series of blocks of vertebrae, and there are 24 of them. And be in between the vertebrae, is the spinal cord that is a long contiguous uh, chain of neurological tissue that goes from the brainstem down to about the first lumbar vertebrae. And in that area you have the meninges and you have some blood vessels, some lymphatics, some adipose or fat tissue, and you have the, the separated and protected by the bones, these, these movable vertebrae. What happens with a stenosis is that you have a narrowing of the, the, of the area where the spinal canal is, the spinal, the spinal cord itself, and that actually can compress the cord, causing a whole bunch of different neurological problems, including pain. And there's, a, there's a lot of different reasons why people develop spinal stenosis. One of them is due to a space-occupying lesion, such as a tumor or, more commonly, a, a herniated disc. It could also be caused by an extensive amount of arthritis in the spine and with arthritis you have bone spur formation and the bone spurs can actually uh, take up a lot of the space inside where the, the spinal cord is causing the stenosis. Regardless of the, of the, the cause of the problem, the, there's a couple different ways to treat this. The medical approach is first medical, medically and then followed by surgically. The medical approach is to give you medicines to try to reduce your symptoms, but it's very nonspecific and it's very temporary and it's highly toxic. The surgical approach is to surgically go in there and decompress the spine, usually by way of a laminectomy or by removing other bony tissue in the spine to decompress it. The spinal surgical approach has a 50% success factor, so that means that you have a 50-50 shot of that even working. Additionally, it's very invasive. It involves a lot of post-operative pain. You have a, a pretty good chance of getting an infection, and there's also risk of anesthesia. So you have to consider all that before you go under the knife. Before you even consider a medical or surgical approach, my suggestion is to stick with a conservative physical medicine approach that involves a combination of chiropractic with rehab. By using chiropractic and rehab, what we do is first to try to improve the, the motion quality of the spine by getting the joints moving and get the muscles moving. Once we've accomplished that, then we try to restore the posture and the pelvis and, and realign everything. And following that, then the goal is to strengthen and stabilize the spine by giving you specific exercises. And that conservative, non-invasive approach that doesn't involve drugs or surgery, it actually works exceptionally well and it should be your first choice if you have spinal stenosis. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about spinal stenosis or about back pain, please feel free to communicate with me through my website at redapplewellness.net. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell a friend. And again, thank you very much for checking out this video.